you can see from the title, there's no surprise. I'm taking the 1000 horsepower Q50 out on the track. This car doesn't have a roll cage, so I'm trying really hard not to get kicked out of there. So I can't trap anything over 135. I'm gonna try to do a couple 60 to 130s, dial that in, and then do a few launch control passes to like maybe an eighth of a mile. After we dial in the eighth mile, then we're just gonna go full send and get kicked out of the track. Hopefully we make it into the nines. We won't get kicked if we don't cross over at 135 or below 9.99. Well, we were finally able to take the car to the track, but we unfortunately ran into obstacles and issues that made it difficult to make strong passes. So let me briefly explain what happened. Right off the trailer, the first pass was supposed to be a test 30 gear pull, but the adrenaline rushing through my blood clouded my mind. I ended up doing a second gear pull and I banged the gears to the finish line. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as frank, boy. Being that it was right off the trailer and obviously letting the engine warm up a little bit, the car ran phenomenally. The car definitely has that in your seat feeling, especially when the higher RPMs came around. So the second pass was made after a revision was sent. And unfortunately, I left the car in map one which is the daily map. Definitely a fail on my part. So we attempted to make another pass right after and the car definitely started showing signs of heat soaking. The car started to lower the boost pressure as a safety feature. We kept trying everything to cool the car down, but we were not as prepared as we should have been. Although these turbos are not gigantic, they do generate a lot of heat. And with our inner cooler sitting over the engine, this car does get heat soaked fairly quickly. Cooling temps were about 220 degrees plus. Oil temps were over 210 degrees. Charge temps were hovering around 150 degrees and the car does currently have an AMS heat exchanger. Every time we tried to make a pass, it would get slower. I also started noticing the car would hiccup on the top of fourth. By that time, we decided to call it quits and I took the car to do a couple 60 to 130s on the highway and the fuel pressure sensor began to really give out. We kept getting colds for the FPS, the fuel pressure sensor, and some type of cut would not allow me to do a good 60 to 130. By this time, we decided to just end the night and go back to the drawing boards. So we're doing a few things. So Tamis Motorsports is actually doing a few modifications. Step one is adding an ice box. Step two is actually using the methanol that is already installed on the car. Step three is remove the subwoofer system and the passenger seats for weight reduction. Oh, Step four no, is to nice. remove the restrictive two and a half inch exhaust that it currently has. So next time we go to the track with fans, coolers, ice, and a tent. And Yo, on my car, I'll definitely watch out for the car being in map two, which is the race map. I guess this is all part of the race car game. So we we live and we learn and at least we got great. some good data and it's one step towards beating the record for not just the fastest Q50, but the fastest Q in the world. Guys, I'm freaking nervous as hell. I'm just literally gonna do a good third gear pull. third we got a 1243 at 136 this thing is going to beat records today bro that's psych that's the wrong number <laughs> right now we're just tuning in the one the 60 to 130 and we're gonna start launching harder little by little the track is extra sticky this thing is hooked so we're just gonna wait on the tuner to let us know how it is the, the log he's probably gonna turn it up and we're gonna start going at it a little harder Oh, 
really slow. I didn't log it, man. I freaking forgot. Thank you. Yo. All right, so I freaking forgot to log that pass. Um, but yeah, but they only ran 118 and 12 seconds. I don't know. It felt really, really slow. Were you in map one? Oh, fuck. maybe that's what I did. You ran it in daily map, probably. It was daily map for sure. Oh yeah, I was in the daily map. What an idiot. Yeah, run it again. Run it back. Alright. I'll call you back. At least oil temples are one the same. Alright. Wow. What a buffoon. <laughs> I fucking... Man, I'm dead. Se me olvidó, man. Hey, voy a levantar el hood. Si quiere camina conmigo hasta allá. Until right before the burnout, you can close the hood. Until I get to the burnout box. Okay. And then you can close it. Well, guys, I ran that pass and I forgot to turn on the camera. Fucking a. 1086. 60 foot is 19. Alright, so we have to get that dialed in. We gotta let this baby cool down. So the car is pretty heat so guys. Charge temps are 124, man. Like, that's the thing. Like, these cars get so freaking hot. With an inner chiller, you never see this. The charge temps drop dramatically back to like the 40s. Eric, put the hood up and then put it down when I get to the, the burnout box. and it, it it was second gear that cut yeah but it's first gear that, that you over that's why so the throttle cut happens in second what the hell that's how it is bro you just never experienced it that's pure throttle cut in first gear this is what everybody complains about so the fact that you were getting it to 7k before was great because i turned up the boost right so now that there's more boost you gotta shift earlier it, it won't do it literally went over seven get any good clean passes in uh, for the most part you know we got into the tens until it started breaking up then we also did 60 to 30 in 6.27 seconds which 
it's okay it definitely has fives in it but um, the car is pretty much going to be you know looked over fluids changed new uh, fuel pressure sensor and we might be doing a couple other modifications and we definitely need to activate the methanol this time we never activated the meth at all tonight so next time we go we're gonna be a little more prepared and maybe bring a couple fans as well to help any of the heat soaking issues that these vr30s have and hopefully get deep into the fives for 60 to 130 and into the nines for the quarter mile we didn't accomplish what we set out to accomplish however we did gather a lot of data and next time we're coming in harder so just stay tuned for the next couple videos as we progress with this vehicle and hopefully break some records. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace, Dillis.